Ever wondered how to build a custom chatbot that can answer questions based on information from a personal or company knowledge base, more specifically from documents in an unstructured format like PDFs? In this video, we will show you how to build exactly this custom chatbot. We will be leveraging the Palm AI system, which is Google's bleeding edge large language model, to power your custom chatbot. We'll be building a simple pipeline using Document AI and Vertex AI that takes these PDF files, turns them into parsed data, and then, through the Vertex AI text embedding model, converts this data into embeddings, which can be semantically matched with chatbot prompts. We'll be walking through each step of this process slowly so that you can follow both the ideas and the implementation. We will also be using relatively low-level Python code and libraries instead of higher-level abstractions like Langchain, as they allow us to explain the concepts more clearly and demonstrate the theory behind this approach more easily. While we have a wide variety of options for vector databases, and you should be able to follow along regardless of your choice, we're going to demonstrate Elasticsearch based on ease of use and ecosystem maturity. When we get a prompt from our users, that will be fed into the chatbot alongside context from our knowledge base. Then Palm AI will provide an answer. Specifically, Elasticsearch will check our embeddings and find a particular embedding from our PDFs that best matches the general topic or ideas in the prompt. It will then use that information to decide which associated document gets fed into the model through the context as knowledge to be drawn upon by the chat model. We can simplify somewhat by breaking this down into two subsystems. The first subsystem is the knowledge base building, which involves taking our PDF documents and analyzing and processing them into a format that can be used by our machine learning system. The second subsystem is our live chatbot system, which uses that knowledge base and provides responses with contextual information drawn from that knowledge base. For the Elasticsearch installation, we'll be using Google Kubernetes Engine and we'll provide a link to a video about setting up Elasticsearch on GKE. You can follow those instructions almost identically with only one step changed at the end. For our Elasticsearch instance, we're going to enable the setting for internal load balancers. Then we'll change the Elasticsearch custom resource definition a bit to use an internal load balancer for the networking front end. The load balancer will provide convenient firewall orchestration and an easy way for our Vertex AI pipelines to connect with our Elasticsearch instance. With the vector database now being set up, Let's move on. The next step involves adding some PDFs to a Google Cloud Storage bucket that will serve as our knowledge base. For the bucket name, keep in mind that names need to be unique. All the other default settings should be fine. To provide some example PDFs, we'll download popular machine learning research papers, for instance, the papers underpinning PyTorch Palm AI and ChatGPT. Furthermore, we will grab a paper that was very recently published, and almost certainly not in Palm's training core, to test if our chatbot can extract information from our knowledge base. Now, let's proceed to set up our document AI processor, which will extract text from these PDF files. We're going to use a processor from the gallery instead of creating a custom one, since this document OCR processor will suffice for our research papers. Keep this ID for the processor handy as we'll need it shortly. Next, let's enable the Vertex AI APIs by heading to Vertex AI and enabling all the recommended APIs. Then let's set up some networking so we have a good connection between our VPC and the serverless networking that powers things like Vertex AI pipelines. In our VPC project, we'll go to the private service connection, enable the API, and then create a private service connection for an automatically allocated IP range. 
This provides a bridge between Vertex AI pipelines and our Elasticsearch instance. While we're here, we'll export custom routes to facilitate connections across our serverless services and our VPC resources, and then set up serverless VPC access. This is going to give our serverless resources seamless connection to private IPs within our VPC, which can be helpful when experimenting with things like Vertex or Cloud Functions. We'll click to create the connector, and the default range it suggests should be fine for this default VPC. We won't need much scaling here, so we'll reduce the max instances, but leave everything else the same. Now that the prerequisites are out of the way, we can proceed to the exciting stuff, most notably the Vertex AI pipeline code, which will set up our knowledge base data in our Elasticsearch instance. We're going to use the Cloud Shell for this, and as usual, we'll share all the code for this demonstration in the video description. Note that the Python here uses standard SDKs and should be relatively easy to adapt to other non-Vertex pipelining tools or local execution if necessary. We'll start our journey by finding files that match a specific regex pattern from our Google Cloud Storage. Following that, we'll cut up these PDFs into individual pages to keep our document AI processor from erroring out with page counts over 10. This move also ensures that our final embeddings, created from the parsed text, are sufficiently low token count as to be injected as content into our chatbot prompts. This approach is somewhat primitive, splitting by pages instead of logical, meaningful chunks, but it's a convenient and functional starting point. Our next course of action will be text parsing using Document AI. Following that, we'll use the Text Embeddings API provided by Google in the Vertex AI suite. These embeddings, once crafted, will be stashed in Elasticsearch with the rest of the code tying these pieces into an easily executable pipeline. Snag this code from the GitHub repository and use it as is, or custom fit it to your use case. We'll likely need some packages here, including the use of Kubeflow Pipelines version 2. But otherwise, our pipeline is looking good and compiles nicely. Since the logic of our pipeline is good, or at least compiles, let's finish up by resolving some placeholders in the code. We'll bring in our IPv4 for Elasticsearch, as well as the Elastic Password, which is Base64 encoded within a Kubernetes secret. Lastly, we'll need the project and processor IDs. Up next, we'll take our freshly compiled pipeline file and get it running to build up our knowledge base. Importantly, in the advanced options, we need to provide the VPC network so that our pipeline can reach our internal Elasticsearch instance. The required format is a fully specified network, which includes the project number. In our initial task, which has run successfully, we're following the PDF pattern in our Google Cloud Storage directory to identify matching PDF files. We'll then slice these PDFs into pages using Vertex to transform the pages into embeddings and stuff the embeddings into our Elasticsearch instance. The parallelization of each of these parallel blocks will determine how fast this runs, and it's important to manage that carefully so you don't overwhelm any APIs or exhaust IPs. In any case, sit tight until you have a successful run. When our pipeline finishes, we come to the exciting part where we actually get to use this knowledge base in AI chatbot interaction. For example, I can ask about the acronym LATE, which is in a paper in our knowledge base and was published just a couple of weeks ago. The chatbot on its own certainly wouldn't know that, which is why we supply it with context from Elasticsearch. 
We connect to Elasticsearch, perform a cosine similarity between the query vector, the vector for the question being asked, and all of our document embeddings. When we retrieve that content, we can read the associated file in Google Cloud Storage and provide it as context to our prompt. This is how we incorporate information from our knowledge base into our chatbot interactions. We're going to port forward to our Elasticsearch pod on port 9200 in a separate terminal, and then run this test and can use a prompt like this. Note that the knowledge base will perform best with relatively long questions where the intent or meaning of the question can be better inferred. Technically speaking, the longer the initial prompt, the more text that we can use for vector similarity. If we take a look at the response, we can see that our system has correctly identified that the acronym LATE stands for Layer Adjustable Interactions in Transformers. We achieved this by passing in some text that it found relevant and then asking the question originally proposed to the chatbot. Hence, we're successfully leveraging the knowledge base. We hope this video tutorial, as well as the published code, is helpful for building your own custom chatbots. We'll be keeping an eye on the comment section for any questions and would like to thank you for watching. Please enjoy it responsibly.